How's it? Hang loose. Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The chat. <laughs> yes, today is Sunday. And we're definitely... Reading orders. And it's the 23rd. And we're definitely going to keep this down to a min. We're not going to try to go over. Yeah, well, in the news, it's just like 50-foot waves yesterday. I mean, 50-foot. It's coming down today, but they're getting some pictures in if you didn't go up there and get caught in all the human traffic. It's the kind of waves where you go up on the beach, and if you're standing there looking, where's the 50-foot waves? And you're, and you're standing on wet sand. <laughs> Move back. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Anyhow, and of course, the other big news is new coach, new coach. It's a new coach. <laughs> so, today is Sunday, so we're going to definitely do old and new because we're in the middle of a plague. <laughs> And if any time you need to do check in with that big holy, it's um, when you're in the middle of a plague. So, old and new. Oops, we're gonna just do a little. Where's my my random picker? There it is. It's got a little bit of a little out of the old, a little out of the new. Kind of no explanation except. You guys can believe whatever you want, but <laughs> I'm gonna go that way. Okay, here, Old Testament, ready? Let's go a little bit down there over here. That should still be old. Yeah. Okay. Be light here, right? Light. Huh, huh, huh. Every time I turn this on, I turn it right on. I turn it on with this switch, and it goes right into my eyes. Okay, so. And inevitably. Oh, Isaiah. Or Julie. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let's get it right over here. <clears throat> this is a chapter 28 out of Isaiah. Well, part of it, anyway. Ah, the proud garland of the drunkards of Ephraim, Im, Ephraim, and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of those bloated with rich food, of those overcome with wine. See, the Lord has one who is mighty and strong, like a storm of hail, a destroying tempest, like a storm of mighty overflowing waters. With his hand, he will hurl them down to earth. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> no, something out of the news. It's gotta have rubric, though. So, uh, like over here. Something with red in there. Okay. 
Is there, nope. Oh yes, it has read. <clears throat> Here we go. John. John. Uh, 1022, if you're following. If I can find the light. <laughs> it's in the right angle. Jesus is rejected by the Jews. At that time, the festival of dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them. They follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one shall can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Thank you, Jesus. Save me. Save me from the perils of this world. Anyways. <clears throat> yes, and uh, that might extend into the uh, Spook 101 if I ever get back around to that, and Crypto if I ever get back around to that. But tonight is reading of Comedy of Errors and the last <clears throat> the last installation of Richard the Third, where you get to see me going, a horse, a horse, a king for a horse, has been edited and posted with sound effects and music. Because <laughs> you know how it goes. Well, anyways, let's let's hop on over. Fifty foot waves. Can you believe that? Fifty foot waves. But first, <clears throat> the coach passing the torch. This guy's like going. Hey, uh, you, you're gonna use like real torches, right? <laughs> you're not telling me. Oh, don't hand me the freaking long, it's all flamed out. It's on fire. So, the former quarterback, Timmy Chang, is gonna be the new head coach. So, there's the, the, the drop in the pin or whatever they say. Whatever them newfangled words are that you'll use now. So the new coach is the old quarterback because June Jones was not going to have none of this. Hey, you're not going to tell me what to do. You tell me what to do and tell me who to coach. It's only two years. He was holding out. But uh, they were in desperation and he was holding out and they're just like, nee, nee, nee. and this guy steps up and like, I was quarterback. Well, then now you're coach because you're an old quarterback back in the day. In 1987, when life was simpler, <laughs> like this guy, Jose, the King, Melendez, works the same spot and the same chair at the sugar bar. Works the same spot and the same chair at the sugar bar from 10, 11:30 to 6 p.m. seven days a week. What? What is this? Is it's his act? I guess he's below the cuckoo clock. Perfect. You're below the cuckoo clock and the stein and the <laughs> reproduction print of something. High school Harry's bloody in here. What the? <laughs> That's when bars didn't really care. 87. Okay. So, let's get going on. Maybe there's something in. Oh. Oh. We did that. We did that. What? It's, now it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Turbulent train. Here we go. Oh, it first came up. Turbulent transition. Here's June Jones going. Eh, hey, it's either my way or the highway. Now he's walking along the side of the road. No, he's he's got it going on. He, he didn't have to. Yeah, he's he's an old duck. He's 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 he didn't have to do it like that. I'll be rooting for them. Same. That's what the, the outgoing, outgoing horrible coach said. I'll be cheering for you. The fix was in, but your football game is still broken. 
Well, yeah, because it's like it's all stupid now. Now it's all controversial stuff because it's those coaching jobs are big, big money, and they spend all this money to be. We gotta have the best football coach. Oh, look at that Oakland on that. And TC Ching, right? <laughs> Jones says he's rooting for the Chang. See Makua Kim. Oh yeah, and they have this Polynesian Bowl, right? The Polynesian Bowl, all the Polynesian players. And Hawaii put out quite a lot of them. Ponga, Samoa, all like that. And um, look at the quarterback for the Dolphins, Miami Dolphins. The quarterback he has number one on his shirt. Tua. Because he's rooting for Ching. Uh, Chang. Uh, Chang. Oh, so he's going to have me coach Chang at the TC Ching Stadium. No, that's too much. Okay, football, basketball. Eh. Okay, <clears throat> what else is going on here? Uh, this is Sunday, so there's like plenty of stuff, right? I can't believe our Shakespeare on Sunday. No one wants to pick their parts. I send them out a list of characters. Pick your parts. They're like, no response. I'm only picking parts for you guys. Honolulu firefighter and filmmaker Joe Wallace took 10 years to get his credit. Angel by Thursday. Wah, wah. Okay, well, you get to do your filmmaking. The filmmaking's gotten big because, once again, lots of money. Because you got the Teamsters, all these unions. So when they have like the stuff over here, he's like, oh boy. Oh boy. So. Quality is a different story. Hawaii Five Old Story. See, they want the local local talent to um, be successful so badly. So if you're Howley, <laughs> you're now automatically at the bottom of the range of nothing. <coughs> Sudoku. What is this? I'm a big fan of the. Oops. Alright, and of course we're going to be invaded, well, Ukraine's going to be invaded, it's one of our allies. They don't want Ukraine to go into the UK. Um, hello? No, let's try go, <laughs> we can find the, oh, almost had it, passion project. Nope, one more this way. Is it insight? Yes. In the always <laughs> climate calculus. Oh gosh, we're gonna calculate it. We some guy found a reef. It's like it's like at the deepest part of the ocean. The guy found the reef off the Haiti, and they're like, oh. <laughs> it's at the deepest part where the light. They call it the twilight zone. It's so deep that if you go any deeper, there's no light. So you're each like growing down there going, don't bother me. Oh crap. There goes the neighborhood. We were discovered by humans. Oh no. Sniffles, fatigue, allergies, and or COVID. Vaccinated, boosted. Sniffles, fatigue, allergies, or COVID. And the unvaccinated. Intubated, ventilated, can't breathe, probably not allergies. Wah, wah. <laughs> It's like, I don't even want to deal with what is entailed with long haul syndromes. Okay, let's look at the menu here. Make a difference with mass and boosters. Learn in a better classroom. UH should support global. US. <laughs> UH. It's all UH now. Mayor should take position on Red Hill. Ooh, don't look up. Has lessons about the Nile. What? Oh, it says something about YouTube. Shall we just book it? Let's just book it over there. So, uh, down to the mayor. <laughs> this is this is what they're calling cancel culture. You have to edit out. You don't have enough time. Oh, you canceled us because you didn't read our thing. No, nope. you should support global vaccine. Absolutely, because that's how you're gonna get the thing. Um, uh, being underneath the vaccine as far as the vaccine having effectiveness you can't just have the 
you know, there's too much air travel. It's just, okay. I should have watched the movie Outbreak over and over again when this game first started with that little monkey. Mayor should take position on Red Hill. What is a no comment position? What is it, eh? The mayor of Honolulu has no position on the water contamination crisis that affects most of Honolulu. What an awful public position. He should personally interview those who have been poisoned by the contamination and visit the schools and homes that can't be entered or visited. <laughs> visit something that can be visited who will live in these contaminated homes who will attend school there here <laughs> and there president joe biden recently addressed the u.s conference of mayors conference of mayors you should give out a mayor a, give our mayor a word of how to take care of water contamination i hope biden addresses our immediate concerns jay benita waikiki i think cool joe is kind of busy <laughs> It's being swamped by. <clears throat> we'll we'll get there later. The Congress. Don't look up. Has lessons about denial. Several excellent critiques of the science presented in the hit Netflix film Don't Look Up can be found on YouTube. As allegory, however, the film excels in depicting the consequences of not accepting documented, verifiable evidence that goes against positions held contrary to fact. This tendency towards denial sometimes seems the default position of the human being. The list, a list of beliefs is not supported by reasonable confirmation or proof would include many held as sacred, sacrosanct, and accepted beyond question. We should all periodically look down at, look into, look about for counters to our most cherished accepted notions. Truth and reality are synonymous, but not always obvious. Kenneth M. Nelson, why, Bahu? Hey, Kenneth, I'm just, I'm just making voices. Well, I don't know. I, uh, I, I, I got this truth and notion and tendency. It must be a good film. Don't look up. What's well, it like? Chicken Little. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. No, it's not. And I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. <laughs> this is an asteroid thing going on. <clears throat> but um, it's not people's incapacity to accept reason and truth for the most part. It all begins with there's a division, and the division is being held synchrosect because they're trying to win and win at all costs. And the cost is you, public health, everything. It's all going up and uh, down and, I don't know, what is it, in a basket. H-E in the double hockey sticks. It is that they're holding up on a pedestal their tribe's view. So it's kind of the toe of the party line is their new god with a little g. <clears throat> so anything you do... I will deny it. Anything you accomplish, I will call it a failure, and I will try to subvert you and uh, uh, sabotage anything you do. It's exactly what the Satanist church does, because everything Christian, they look at everything Christian, and they go just opposite. <coughs> Christian turns down the left side, they will turn to the right, because they turn to the left. Christ Christian jumps up, they will see that and go, Christian, they will say they jump down. They try to reverse it like mirror reversal. Look at their stuff. That's a big structure, structure of that, you know. And and the bipartisan politics is doing it. I mean, they're staying, sticking with their politic party. Anything they do, we deny it's wrong. 
If you have news that gives out the truth, we will call it fake. And we will put out false misinformation and call it true. It's bad. Say, <laughs> I don't know. That's how I figured it. And a lot of people follow it. So it's just insane and hard to take your eyes. It's like a train wreck. And you can't take your eyes off of it. It's so awful. Anyways, big waves and we got a new coach. Timmy Ching and going to be in TC Ching, <laughs> Timmy Chang in TC Ching arena yeah so have a happy day everything's gonna get better and these hopefully so like and subscribe i'm going down the tubes too bye aloha aloha i'll never make it in youtube so i hate this i love doing videos every sunset is a the sunrise is a real sunrise aloha Press the button.